Welcome to another DIY wearables project. Today we're completely revamping the Firewalker sneakers to be better, lighter, stronger. Coming right up. To reduce the cost of the materials and accommodate a wider variety of shoes, we're going to use a Gemma microcontroller instead of a Flora this time around. Gemma just didn't exist yet when we first made this project. If you're wondering about the differences between the two, we've got a video about just that. You can find a step-by-step -step tutorial for this project on the Adafruit Learning System. The link is in the description. To sense the motion of your feet, we'll use a vibration sensor. This has a spring inside that closes a switch as it shakes around. The vibration sensor is a very basic switch, and Gemma's digital input can read its state. This is simpler than sensing and calibrating the analog Velostat pressure sensor used in our previous Firewalkers. Pixel strip is made of a flex PCB material that's meant to curve around surfaces, but it's not designed to bend laterally. On the original Firewalkers, the bend at the toe was vulnerable. To improve on the original design, let's insert some individual NeoPixels into the line, soldered together with silicone-coated stranded wire. Now the shoe can bend without fatiguing the flex PCB. Cut the sheathing down the back to fit the strip back inside. The last upgrade we'll make over the original Firewalkers is to miniaturize the battery. Alkaline packs are great for beginners, but they're a bit bulky for shoes. But attaching delicate LiPoly batteries to your feet can also be risky. So I asked Noe to create a 3D printed pocket for the battery, made from semi-flex filament. Check out his video about how he put it together in 123D Design. Solder and test your custom NeoPixel strip before gluing the strip to your shoes. Use rubber bands to hold the strip in place while the glue dries. After the glue is dry, solder to Gemma and upload the sensor trigger code from the tutorial. Play around with the positioning of the sensor on your shoe until you're happy with the movement that triggers the switch. Sew the battery pocket to your shoe through the holes provided. Be sure to squeeze some E6000 in between the tape at the top of the battery to give the wires some stabilization and strain relief. You can give your circuit some splash resistance by heat shrinking the sensor and painting Gemma with some conformal coating or clear nail polish. How would you make this project your own? Let us know in the comments and show off your own electronics projects on our weekly Show & Tell Hangout on Google+. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more wearable electronics from Adafruit.